Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, my name is Tammy and today we're going to be talking about that topic that everyone hates to talk about, boundaries. Yes, boundaries. It's those things that you may set in life that other people find selfish, but in all honesty, boundaries really do help strengthen your relationships. Now, if you haven't already, let's click that red button down below so that you can subscribe and be alerted for when the next video comes out. Now, without further ado, let's get this video started, shall we? Okay, so today I wanted to talk about boundaries because uh, I had a situation occur not too long ago where I had someone from my past contact me through a loved one hoping, I guess they were hoping to uh, spark up a conversation and a relationship once again with me. They messaged me for my my phone number and honestly guys, I just put it on hold. The message is still in my phone. I put it on hold because um, it is one of the people that I cut out of my life. And I know that sounds harsh to say cut out, um, but they are one of the people that I have cut out of my day-to-day -day life. Let's put it like that. And I have set a boundary where I don't go back in the past for anything. I don't go back in the past for any old relationships that once was there. I tried it with two people that I really, really was hoping to have back in my life and it didn't work. So I set a boundary of never, ever, ever building relationships again with people that I have cut out, that I have cut communication with. And this person is one of those people. Um, now, it as harsh as it sounds that I said I cut out and put a boundary there, um, I did this to benefit my mental health, to benefit me as a person and my needs because when I look back at each relationship when I look back at it I analyzed the benefits that helped me and the benefits that helped them and in some situations I felt that I wasn't the best person to be around them and to be for them. And then in other situations, I felt that that person wasn't beneficial to me and my needs. So I put this person on hold because I'm not a heartless person. I do give second chances, third chances, four, fifth, six, seven chances to people but and I leave the window the door open just like that I leave it open for people nowadays but I set that boundary of never going back to old relationships even when I post on social media um, any successful things that I have accomplished any goals I have accomplished um, new adventures that I want to try and I post it on social media and from time to time I'll have somebody um, comment on it and then DM me and I just the mindset that I have now as crazy as it sounds the mindset that I have now won't allow me to revisit the past the way it was because for me the past was not a good one um, the bad kind of outweighed the good whereas to now um, the good is outweighing the bad so I set that boundary of never going 
back in time to relationships. Now that doesn't mean I won't talk to people from my past. Of course, I will talk to you. Um, I just won't fall into that trap that I used to fall into of, yes, we're talking again. Um, they text me, they called me a couple of times. We're gonna set up this and we're gonna set up that to go to. And then the day of, it falls apart and I don't hear from them. So instead of, instead of setting myself up for that disappointment, I choose not to put myself in that situation. And that is my boundary. Now for you, your boundaries may be different. They may be that you need to completely cut ties with someone. Or they, they, they may be that, you know, you need this person to do more. And you, you need to look at your needs when it comes, <coughs> excuse me, when it comes to those around you whether it's family members, friends, co-workers, uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever the relationship is, look at your needs and look at what you need from yourself within that relationship and those around you. And sometimes, unfortunately, it may mean that you no longer have that person in your life. Um, boundaries are not selfish. You may have people that once you say, you put your foot down on something, say, well, that's selfish of you because I do A, B, C, D, and E for you. Um, but they are not selfish. Boundaries are there to have you and the person around you or the people around you benefit from it, right? That way no one's being taken advantage of in the situation, in the relationship. When you set your boundaries, it is okay to tell people, no, I won't do that. Or it's okay to tell people, you know what? I don't want to talk about that. It is from my past or uh, it is a tough situation for me. I don't want to do that right now. That is what boundaries is. It is not to shame anyone. It is not to be mean to anyone. And it's definitely not selfish at all. Setting a boundary is simply saying, we're not going past this because it's not going to benefit me and it's not going to benefit you. If you don't know where to start and you're finally at the point where, um, Maybe you need to set up something. Maybe you need to put your needs first and your mental health first. Then I am more than happy to help you set up boundaries um, to map out some things that you can say, um, ways to talk to the people around you, um, and also to get an understanding of what it's like to cut someone completely off if you've never done it before. Because believe it or not, there are people out here who have never ever said bye to somebody that they've known for decades and they continue to keep this person around. Um, but I am more than happy to if you would like to need advice or assistance or whatever the case may be on setting up your own boundaries, um, I am more than happy to do a video that shows it, or maybe I will do a video on steps. Um, you can also go to my blog. I wrote um, a post about setting boundaries with family members and get an idea from there. Um, you can DM me as well on the Silent Torch on Instagram and I will be more than happy to give you suggestions on how to set your own boundaries um, the healthy way if you haven't already. But when you set these boundaries, just know that it's not to hurt the other person. 
um, which they just might think is to hurt them because you're limiting yourself from them and, and their needs. But it's not to hurt the other person. It's not to be selfish. It is simply to put yourself first. It is simply to put your needs first and to strengthen the relationship. Because in all honesty, if you put these out there and these are my bottom lines for how we interact and they don't stick around, then it is on them. It is not on you. And don't blame yourself because they didn't. That means that they weren't ready for it. But those who do stick around, you know, are truly there to help strengthen the relationship. And probably see that maybe they were taking advantage just a little bit. So if you need any assistance or you want some suggestions or um, you have suggestions, you can put it in the comments below as well. And that was pretty much it on setting on the boundary thing. Um, it's just weird that every time I go to do something to better myself, that people from my past that I have cut out for that, situ that same reason um, tend to want to contact me. And at this point, I've gotten used to it. Before, I used to hate it. A lot and I have gotten used to it uh, there is a nice cordial conversation for them every time but it's it just weirds me out that it happens and I'm sure it happens to a lot of people it seems like when you get some sense of positivity in your life some form of positivity no matter how big or small it is that you'll have those who you don't consider them negative but they really didn't help push you towards positivity um they tend to surface <laughs> and that happens to me every time maybe i should stop posting on social media my good stuff but then i it doesn't benefit me because i don't see it when i have those moments of feeling bad or feeling down it doesn't benefit me so um, but that was it for today. And, oh, my shirt says, if you were noticing my shirt, it says, love, no thanks, I'll take vodka, but I'm always for love. I'm always for love. I'm always for positivity. I'm always for, um, good vibes and a better way of living. Uh, so, but I like this shirt. It's one of my favorite shirts. Uh. I got it off online and I wear it outside and people just get a kick out of the saying on it. But that was it for today. Um, please be sure to, again, hit the red button down below and click on the subscribe so that you can be updated on when videos come out. Um, I do have a big video that's coming that I can't wait to put on this channel because it shows a different side of me and I'm excited for it. It's actually going to happen in, I think, two weeks, either three or two weeks. But um, I will be hitting the road for that video and conquering a fear of mine. Um, as I stated in the previous video that I have a fear of heights and a fear of reverse heights, which I will be explaining in that video but i'm excited for that and plus i get to get out of i get to take a vacation from new york city yes i'm in new york city i get to take a vacation from new york and actually step into another country <laughs> so i cannot wait it is well needed um but that video is coming up and i will also, of course, be always posting on the Silent Torch um, blog, which is a mental health, self-care, and a positive living blog. Um, it's been a little... Um, there haven't been posts in May, much in May. Well, the past four weeks hasn't been. 
much of posting, but um, you could go there for tips on mental health, um, self-care, and also ways to live a more positive uh, life. And also, today I had a little visitor with me. I don't know if you can see him, but he is sleeping right here. And he's a nuisance. Every time I go to record something, he wants to be there. <laughs> so um, that was it for today. And, and I have a new hairdo. I finally put my hair out so that um, it can breathe. Um, and <laughs> yeah, so it can breathe. But that was all for today. And I hope you took something away from it. I know it was kind of all over the place, but um, I'm sure I'll probably put out a video that will go over steps of how to build uh, boundaries for yourself and for those around you. Um, until then, like I said, I have a post on my website, thesilenttorch.com, where you can read about um, setting boundaries and the benefits of it. But that was it for today. I am doing well, and um, I will give an update on my self journey and update on some new toys that I have. Yeah, new editing toys and filming toys. Um, but that was it for today. Otherwise, I'll keep rambling on. And I will see you all in the next video. All right, everyone. Take care.